you are playing with a huge disadvantage if you are not using these two absolutely broken movement mechanics. You are removing any chance of somebody landing a headshot on you, and on top of that, you're breaking aim assist. <clears throat> a lot of players have been telling me that this is impossible to do on controller or that it was possible then Call of Duty patched it. Well, this is my friend Didi one month after that supposed patch. It works on both inputs, it's just that on controller there are two ways to do it as well as a small and very important key difference that I will be talking about at the end of the video. So first up we got the instant drop shot. You can drop so fast it feels like playing one of those car simulator games but with the gravity of the Boom. sun. Now for controllers, there are two different ways to do it. The first way, you can do it while standing still or tax printing, but you need to go backwards first, then you go prone. It's almost the same as snaking. ADS is not important here, it's just for you to hit your shots. This method does not have the same speed as an MNK, but you will need to learn it for controllers that you are able to do the second movement mechanic, which is the most broken thing ever. As for the second way to do instant drop shot, this was perfected by Hexsmith on YouTube. I'll link his video down below and it can be done in two different ways. Basically, he is taking advantage of cross input to make this happen, which means that you can use any combination of devices and use them at the same time as long as they're not related to aiming. So for controller players, you will need a foot pedal and you need to assign that pedal to going prone. In this case, you will need to tax sprint move backwards and ADS at the same time while using the foot pedal for going prone. Or you can get a two button mini keyboard and assign one button for going prone and one button for moving backwards, basically a two button toe pedal. So the first way does not require any extra equipment and it will be less beneficial than MNK. The second one, you need to get that two button mini keyboard or foot pedal, but you'll be on equal grounds with MNK, but you have to also do it with the same order, which is doing all those actions at the same time. As for the first method, you need to go back first and then you need to go prone. All right, so for mouse and keyboard, you need to do four steps at the same time. The first thing is you need to be tax printing, so you need to have auto tax print on to make things easier if you want. And as soon as your weapon is all the way up, you need to ADS, move backwards, and go prone at the same time. So basically, whatever keybind you use, I use Z as a keybind to go prone, and I'm tax printing, I ADS, go prone, and move backwards at the same time. You'll know it's working when you move a little bit faster. Or just ask your teammates and they will tell you you instantly teleported all the way down. If you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that like and sub button. And now for the second broken movement mechanic, which is stronger than the first one. Now, although breaking aim assist and confusing your enemy's aim and avoiding headshots is all great, there's still one problem with that. You are still prone and if your enemy is quick to notice it, you are an easy target for headshots. So let's fix that problem by using the second broken movement mechanic, which is utilizing the instant drop shot to its full potential. Keep in mind, you can only do this method if you mastered the first one in the video. Halfway through the animation of the instant drop shot, halfway, not when it's done, jump twice. That way, your character will teleport from going down to going up without any animations. But please, whatever you do, do not jump in your own spot. So when you want to do this method and you want to jump back, make sure that you're jumping to the right or to the left. Because if you jump in your own spot, you are going back into the enemy's line of sight and you're gonna get headshot pretty easily. Also, if you time it perfectly while jumping to the side, you will be able to bunny hop like this. Feels just like Warzone 1. As for the key differences when it comes to controllers, yes, the instant drop shot on controllers is slower than MNK if you don't have a foot pedal or a mini keyboard. But that's not the whole point. Also, we finally got an advantage in this aim assist dominated game. So yes, we can have this, thank you. Anyways, you still get the advantage of becoming a better player, being a harder target to hit, as well as being able to do the second broken movement mechanic, which is the most important one. And of course, if you can get the extra equipment, I advise you to do so, that way you're on a plain level field with mouse and keyboard. So you got two options here. Option number one, practice and become a better player. Whether you can get the extra equipment or not, there's still an advantage for you both ways. Or option number two, you can keep complaining about this difference and keep playing without any form of movement. Aside from these two techniques, there is a ton of movement in this game, like slide cancelling or how to use the drop shots in lots of different ways. And if you want to see that, check out my ultimate movement guide and you'll see what I'm talking about.